Okay everyone, welcome back to another App Inventor tutorial. This one will be, I'll be showing you how to use the split component which allows you to um, split a text field based on a delimiter. Um, it's based on the tutorial that I produced for uh, List View, um, creating a custom search engine. So if you want to familiarize yourself with that, you might want to go and check that video out there's a link below there for you. Anyway, the way it works is that um, the search function works quite simply. You simply search for uh, something and it will bring back from its list uh, stored list all these little items here and they're all as you can see individual records from uh, a list. And if I click on one of these, and this is the point of today, is that if you click on one of them you'll see there's a comma sorry not a comma, a question mark, separating the fields. So there are three of them here, so I have four fields. I have the aircraft registration, the aircraft model, uh, a city or airfield that it's arrived from, another question mark there, splitting the date, and it's the same for each of them. So these are entire records, and I want to be able to split them on that. And the way I'm gonna show you it is that if I make a selection, I'm going to split that selection into its four component items. So you can see down below the registration has been isolated and put in that text box, the type put in that text box and so on. So that allows you to then of course go ahead and do whatever you like, modify them, perhaps put a submit button if it's you changing a record and enter it back into the list and back onto the database. So that's what we're going to try and show you today. So again you can just do a search select one the box appears and uh, isolates those four fields so in theory how this works is um, I've decided that when I was creating my database that I was going to store the records one at a time um, in a list so you can see field one field two field three field four separated by these question marks doesn't have to be a question mark that's just what I chose some people use semicolons uh, other people use colons don't use commas though because in a list they represent uh, separate items but what you can see is I, is I can't do anything with individual fields if this was a, a, a record I need to be able to get at each of those in turn to move them so I'm going to split it on that question mark there so let's go to the go to the blocks and see how we set this up well this is the original list here arrivals now I've set it to some hard-coded uh, records here as you can see um, obviously in a real life situation that list will come back from a, a database maybe a fusion table or a tiny web DB now what I've done is uh, I've got a I've initialized a selected item list here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the split function to split the records at that question mark as I said earlier so I've got some things I'm doing after picking um, you may have noticed that when I'm selecting a record, let's just go back to that. Uh, selecting a record, for example, let's do a search here. A screen appears at the bottom or a box appears at the bottom. That's setting the height and the arrangement to true. So you can see I've set the height of the list view. This section here, I've shrunk it slightly and I've set the visible property to true. So that little box appears when it's set to true. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is split the text from the one I've selected. So I'm selecting one here, selecting one here, and the way I do that is I simply create this as a list because I want to get at each individual item. So I've created a list and I've split it here, the item they've selected, at the question mark. And that'll go ahead and create in this selected item here four fields because there's there are four items one two three four and they're all being put down there in this section here so the registration text box that one there is going to select the item in the first position which is the first one to be split off uh, whatever the registration is the second one is the second item which is the model and so on down three and down to four there are only four items because there are only four fields separated by that split and that's simply all there is to it. There isn't very much more. If you want to see the rest of the code or if you want the source file, uh, just send me a message, uh, uh, email me or uh, PM me 
and I'll get that across to you. Um, I'll package it up and send it to you just so you can have the whole lot. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for subscribing, thanks for liking, and thanks for watching. Bye!